Yo, what's up guys? I hope you guys are having an amazing day today. So in today's video, I'll show you my new and improved free FPS boost pack. So this pack will increase your FPS, decrease your input delay and latency. But before we start the video, I want to tell you guys about my premium and standard tweaking utilities. So if you want your PC to be completely optimized, then make sure to check out exmtweaks.com. If you notice a big difference using today's free tweak pack, then I'm sure my premium or standard tweaking utility will help you much more. It will overall make your PC feel way smoother. Your FPS will be much higher, your delay would be way lower. It will just overall make you a much better player, but yeah. We have a lot of reviews on our website and Discord server, so just make sure to check out the reviews. So yeah, let's just start the video. Alright, so you're gonna join my... So the first thing you wanna do if you wanna download the tweaks is join my Discord server, discord.gg slash exm and simply go to the free tweak section and download the latest pack. Right now I only have the free pack version 1.08, but uh, when I drop this video there will be the 1.09 version. But simply go here, go to the Google Drive, and uh, right click on it and press download. And, and when you have it downloaded, just go to your documents and basically extract it. Boom. And here, simply just extract it and just open it. So like this, boom. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is go to the storage section and right click and run it as administrator you should do this for every single file so it has the full privileges to change stuff on your pc so simply just run it as administrator and this will disable uac and also make a restore point uh, i'm not gonna say anymore to run it as administrator just simply when i say open it just run it as administrator but yeah it's gonna make a restore point uh i'm just gonna skip till it's finished all right so uh, it just finished and restart your pc after this so yeah, after that we can start the tweaks. So the first thing you want to do is go to GPU section. And if you have an AMD or an NVIDIA GPU. So uh, the way you check it is go to Task Manager. Most of you guys probably already know. But for those who don't, uh, go to Task Manager, go to Performance. And here you can see I have an NVIDIA GPU. But uh, it's only batch files. So you simply just right click and run all of these as administrator. If you have an AMD GPU. And same with NVIDIA. So I'm just going to do NVIDIA. Uh, this is NVIDIA Profile Inspector, which optimizes all your NVIDIA control panel settings, uh, the 3D ones. And it's going to download it. And it's going to say here, Profile Successfully Imported, and you can just exit. Then the same with all of these files. This just disables preemption, and this enables MSI mode. Alright, so that's the GPU section. So after that we have a mouse and keyboard optimization, which I updated the section a lot actually. So the first thing we have is disable mouse acceleration, which it disables mouse acceleration and control panel. And this is one of the things that can really harm your aim in any game, since it basically means that the faster you move your mouse, uh, the more sensitivity you will have, and it's just bad also makes your mouse less accurate so just disable it your sensitivity may may feel weird for a bit but trust me it's worth it so after that we have enable one-to-one -one mouse movements so you simply just run this as administrator boom so here we have a keyboard and mouse that are q size so this tweak depends on how good your cpu is and also a little bit on your motherboard that pretty much has correlation together like the better your cpu is obviously the better your motherboard will be so just comment your cpu uh, in the comment section and i'll let you know which one of these options you should use i have a high-end one so i'm just going to use that after that we have optimized mouse and keyboard that control so after that we have optimized mouse and keyboard control panel settings so here just run this and boom so after that we have power plan so here it applies my power plan simply by running this and uh, you can see here that I have my free power plan here but I'm still gonna use my pr premium one since uh, it's way better here okay and here you can also delete the default power plans like balanced high performance and other one of those since mine is a lot better uh, so after that we have clean uh, here, simply just run this cleanup and it will clean all of your temporary files. So here, I'm just going to delete this as well. Make sure all of these are checked. And you can see I have 172 megabytes of temporary files. So I'm just going to let this run. I'm going to skip till it's finished. 
All right, uh, so after that we have device cleanup, but you just uh, simply run this as administrator and press Control A, devices, remove selected, and boom, it's finished. All right, so after that we have window settings, so simply go here, disable useless animations, run this and basically copy my settings these are like the best balance between your pc not looking like absolute dog shit and uh, having good performance smooth edge smooth edges on screen fonts uh, if you uncheck that your like the text will just look bad and uh it's a really small performance uh, gain if you disable it so it's just worth to keep it on and show thumbnails instead of icons it's just a nice quality of life feature so yeah here is the picture of the settings if you want it but yeah after that, we have disable error reporting, so simply run all five of these batch files as administrator and it will apply everything like this, boom, boom, oh, fuck, I closed it, uh, boom, boom, and this as well, fuck, how am I supposed to, and this as well, alright, so after that, we have registry tweaks, which you simply run all of these, so one by one, you just run each of these as administrator. Uh, I don't need to show this. I don't want to waste your guys' time. So you just simply uh, run all of them and that's it. But yeah, I'm just going to skip to the next section. So after that, we have the debloat category where here you just run auto runs as administrator. And make sure to go to log on. So you basically keep CMD, your antivirus and these NA files, files checked. But the rest, like Epic Games Launcher, everything like this, just keep it unchecked. But yeah, after that, you can just simply close it. And the, the rest of these, you can just run. So run Disable Extra Unwanted Apps as Administrator. And the rest of these, so I'm just going to do this real quick. Boom, boom. And uh, this one as well, which uninstalls useless Microsoft apps, which basically nobody uses. Uh, I'm just going to let this run. I'm going to skip to when it's finished. So it's finished, uh, so that's basically the bloat section, if you ever want to revert this, just do this. But yeah, after that we have Fortnite optimization, where here you can just check your real Fortnite ping, so I'm gonna let this run real quick. So after that we have Fortnite ha So after that we have the Fortnite section, where here you can just optimize your Fortnite. So first we have Fortnite high priority, which you just run this as administrator, boom. Uh, and if you ever want to revert it, then here it is. And here you can check your real Fortnite ping. So I'm gonna use Europe since I'm from Slovakia. And I'm just gonna let that run. I'm gonna skip to when it's finished. But you can see it's pinging the Epic Games servers for about 31 ping. And this is a lot more accurate than the ping in games. So yeah. Alright, so you can see my average ping is about 28. Which is actually pretty decent. Uh, some of you guys actually may uh, find out that your ping is a lot higher than you think But yeah, and after that we have tweak fortnite settings where here you can just run this and All right, so after that we have tweak fortnite settings where here you just run this So I'm gonna uh, talk about a few things here. So nvidia reflex low latency. I recommend either putting this on on uh, or off I would personally just test out all of the options, but for me, on is the best, and if you don't notice a difference between them, then just use it on off. Uh, audio quality should be on low, run as administrator, these should both be checked. And resolution, this is a tricky one. So, a lot of you guys use stretch res, which actually isn't good since you lose FOV from it, and overall, native is just better if you have a really low-end pc then i recommend using 1600 times 900 and just don't use stretch rest it's bad and for most of you i just recommend using normal 1920 times 1080 since unless you have like an incredibly bad gpu bottleneck where your cpu is way better than your gpu then you won't really no notice a difference in your fps if you use like unless you use like an incredibly low resolution but it's just not worth it just use native guys please but after that, uh, we have everything in the tweak finished. I'm gonna say a few things. So here we have the complete revert folder and you can use the EXM restore point from here. So yeah, choose a different restore point and uh, here you can uh, use the EXM restore point if you want to. But yeah, if you just press next and use it, it will revert all the tweaks. Maybe some of you guys noticed, but I removed the network section beca because some people use it on Wi-Fi and you shouldn't. There's so many warnings about it, but people just use it and then they complain to me that they had issues, which, you know, 
And I want to prevent this, so I just removed it. If you ever want to use it, then just go to my older pack, the 1.08. And it's there. And just only do the network section, which is the last two categories. But yeah. Uh, also, if you want to completely optimize your PC, then make sure to check out my website, exmtweaks.com. But my premium or standard tweaking utilities are literally the easiest way you can get your PC tweaked. And it's not like a one-time thing. You can literally just tweak your PC every time you reinstall Windows uh, without paying an extra amount like a tweaking session. But yeah, I have over 250 reviews. So yeah, if you ever just want to have your PC completely optimized for the lowest possible input delay, latency, uh, highest possible FPS, and also a slight ping decrease, then just uh, check it out. And also a lot of people have been asking me how to pay with PayPal. So you just use this link and you can see uh, you can pay with PayPal here. So yeah. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Bye.